Financial expert Nicole Lappin is ready to answer them. She is champing at the bit. She joins us now from New York. So let's get right to it, Nicole. Okay, so Reiner Saad asks, are dollars and treasuries, Nicole, the only safe havens besides gold? Go. Yeah, so Rainer, in the traditional sense, that's a great question, and yes, but lately the wackiness of world markets has made gold, treasuries, and the U.S. dollar pretty precarious. So let's go through them. Gold right now is ridiculously expensive, and you also have to add the sovereign debt concerns on top of that. Then you have U.S. treasuries, and you're getting basically for that. Good luck with that anyway. And then you also have the risk of downgrading U.S. debt, which is also eating into the U.S. dollar, of course, and that is not as strong as we would like. So you're thinking, oh my God, where am I going to put my money for a safe haven? A lot of people are saying lately, look to muni bonds, a high quality muni bonds will get two and a half percent tax free, and that's better than the Zippo that you're going to get in the money markets or in the banks anyway. And I've said it before, and I will say it again, Don, investments that include sweat equity. Sweat, like the real stuff that comes off your brow and your face and whatever, are the best types of investments. So invest seed money in a friend's company or better yet, your own company. The best investments, best safe havens are investments you make in yourself. I know that sounds cheesy and cliche, but it is true. Yes. As, as the Howl said on Gilligan's Island, perspiration. Perspir right. Listen, it doesn't get any plainer than diddly squat and zippo or whatever you <laughs> said. So, All right, next question. Zachary Russell tweets this. Why hasn't China become more vocal and involved in the EU debt crisis, Nicole? And that is a great question, right? China to the rescue. China is the only country with deep enough pockets to help Europe and also bring the continent together. So not only obviously would it help Europe, but it would help the rest of us because we would have more certainty there. And Europe is also China's biggest ex export market, so it would certainly help them. But why haven't we been hearing anything from them? They have been courted like crazy by the Europeans. They've come out and said, yeah, we have the largest foreign reserves, sure. But guess what? Most of our people are living on less than one. One dollar a day. So we have to get our own domestic house in order before we come to the rescue of the Europeans. So that's okay. why they've been a little bit mum lately. Okay. All right. This one I think is, is a very serious question um, because Jeffrey is, Jeffrey Marr says, I'm unemployed and may be forced to take early retirement. I won't be 59 and a half uh, years, old, 59 and a half years old, excuse me, until next August. So am I not able to? 1k until I reach that age unless I incur a tax penalty Nicole yeah, so Jeffrey, that's a really good question. And remember, you can't contribute to your 401k until you pay off that balance. And of course, if you don't repay that balance, you're going to get taxed on top of a 10% penalty you're going to incur anyway. But there is an upside to this. The money that you will probably borrow from your 401k will be a lower rate than you'll get on a commercial loan. And remember, Don, and remember, Jeffrey, that borrowing money from yourself is borrowing money for, from yourself. When you repay it, you repay it to yourself with interest. There you go. Nicole Lappin. Good answers. I don't have Bring to say them. I don't have to Send say you're Twitter. fired. All right. No, you're not fired. You're hired, baby. <laughs> if you want Nicole to answer your money questions, make sure you tweet her at Nicole Lappin and she'll she'll be back next week with the answers. You can tweet me as well at Don Lemon yep. CNN and I'll get them to Nicole. Appreciate it. Thank you, Nicole. Thank you, Don.